Hi, I'm Mick Orr, Application Specialist here at Chromaline. What I'm going to show you today is our new exposure calculator. It's called a dual exposure calculator. It actually does two things individually or together. What I'm going to do is take this calculator and do what's known as a step test. A step test is one of the oldest ways of determining what your proper exposure is. And by the way, a step test should be done Anytime you make any changes in your uh, screen making room, whether it be different emulsion, different mesh, different mesh count, different color, whatever, you should always use the calculator to determine what your proper exposure should be. Because I can't tell you what that calculation is. You have to figure it out yourself. So first thing is, on our calculator, is I'm gonna remove this part here. Save this, you don't wanna get rid of it, because it's important put it off to the side. And now I'm gonna take a piece of what's known as masking film. And really you could use anything you want. It could be, as long as it's UV opaque. This has to be a UV opaque, it's called amberlith. And what I'm gonna do on my exposures is I'm gonna determine what my proper exposures be by guessing the minimum exposures I wanna start with. And I'm saying possibly exposure for our, this emulsion here, which is our chroma blue, on 110 yellow mesh. I'm guessing maybe an exposure of maybe five units at a time. So what I'm gonna do is expose the entire screen with this taped onto the screen. Expose for five units or five seconds. And then after that, I'm gonna take my masking film and cover up most of it. And do another exposure at exactly the same time of five units. After that's done, then I can move it down one more time. Do another five units, move it down. Another five units, another five units, and then I'm done. What I'll end up with is an exposure on one screen that says five, 10, 15, 20, 25 units all at once. That's known as a step test. So let's just show you exactly what I'm gonna be doing here. I got my screen. Unexposed, I have no idea what the proper exposure is. I'm gonna lay this film onto the screen, take a couple pieces of tape. You wanna tape this so it doesn't move. Keep it nice and tight. Now I'm going to expose this screen for five units. It could be any time I want, as long as I keep the same increments of time throughout the entire exposure. I'm gonna do five. Okay, time to expose. Now I've got my positive taped on nice and tight with emulsion down, correct reading, so if you look at it, it reads correctly. Put on my exposure unit. Four or five units. And expose it. Okay, it has now been exposed. Now I'm gonna take my, my amberlith and place on here. If you notice this, I'm gonna place it just like this. I'm covering up all the image except for the first one. Now I'll do an, another exposure, again at five units. Okay, that was for five units. Now I'm gonna move it down to the next area down here. And again, I'm gonna do five units. After that exposure, I'm going to move it down again to here. Another five units. And then I'm gonna move it down to here. Again, it's repetition, that's all it is, five units. After that's done, I take this off. I remove my positive my exposure calculator. Now I'm gonna take this to the washout area and develop it out and see what happens. Okay, I now have this screen in the washout sink and I'm gonna develop it out. If I did it right, you should be able to see the steps I was talking about. And remember, by the way, the longer you expose your screen, the more durable it is. The shorter you expose it, the more accurate it is. So you have to figure out where this is gonna fall. 
Most of the time you want to be right in the middle, uh, it's where it gives you the best durability and the best resolution at the same time. And that's usually right in the middle exposures. But anyway, let's just wash this out. I wet the squeegee side first, turn it over, and this side. You can see the image start to show up here. So we'll just let it go for a little second there. You can let this soak for 15, 20 seconds, whatever, or even in a dip tank, it doesn't matter. I prefer just to wash it out right away. And I keep flipping the screen around, back and forth. There, you can start to see where I had the piece of amber lift or masking film, whatever you want to call it. You can actually see the steps that I did. At least I hope you can see them. See that spot? That's a piece of dirt. Don't worry about that. There's nothing. And another thing, whenever you're doing your washout, if you have to be really careful at your washout where if you spray too long, you're afraid it's gonna fall apart, guess what? It's underexposed. You have to expose a long time to give it the durability. As you can see, I'm being pretty aggressive here. Now, turn it around. down a little bit so you can see better. Okay, that's a step test. But do you notice anything? Notice this is falling apart. Look at that. It's actually falling right off the screen. This has the lowest exposure and this was for five seconds. This is 10, 15, 20, and 25. The farther up I go, the better the stencil looks to a point where is it, if you can see here, I don't know if you can or not, it's actually closed in. Right where I'm pointing, those are supposed to be 10 uh, micron lines and spaces. Well, they're not, it's a solid. So this at 25 seconds is overexposed. But if I go down here, this one's looking pretty good. So we're looking at 5, 10. 10 seconds or maybe even this one. Remember, the longer you expose your screen, the more durable it is. See how this is falling apart? The calculator is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. It's guiding you in the right direction. If this falls apart, don't worry about it on the calculator. Where you have to worry about it is if you actually put that on your screen or on your press. It's going to fall apart. Guaranteed you're going to have a problem. This is how you do an exposure calculator. This step test tells me a lot. This is telling me my proper exposure. If I go too long or too short, what happens? This is an important test you should run whenever you make any changes in your screen room, whether it be the mesh, emulsion, light, anything. You should do this. And by the way, you don't have to do this for every screen every day. I would say maybe once a month or whenever you put a new bulb in your exposure unit, do this test again. That calculator is going to help a lot. What I'll show you after this one is how to use our exposure calculator, which is the other part of our dual exposure.